Hey man, here's what you're looking at through the bevel. Let's say you close this thing up, you have just a little bit left on this side, and you're doing a little inspector detector. That's what you're looking at right there. There's my stop coming up that side, the right hand. There's what we've got so far. Everything looks good according to the slag lines. I'll go up top and look at it. Looks good. Okay, I'm trying something a little different now with the camera position. Oh my, how did I do that? Oh, it's about to break. Let me hit this real quick. Let me reposition because that kind of got out of sync there. I'm right next to the camera. I'm, I'm just on top of the thing, but I'm trying to get you a better, better weld path visuals. I'm not going to go all the way around, I don't think. I'll have to stop and reposition again, but here we go. Yes, sir, looking good. Hey. Okay. It's all for you, baby. I'm doing it all for you. I'm doing it all for you. Okay, coming up on the last portion, right side on the route to the top. Here we go. Check it out, see what I got. A reposition for the left side, your favorite side. All right, coming up the left side off the bottom. Reposition. Okay, coming up the left side, trying to finish that top out. That's it on the route. 
And from what I've seen so far, everything looks good. And I'll show it to you. Let me pause the camera. Okay. This is the interior of it. I'm not going to scrape it this time or anything, and then I'm going to show you again after we do our hot pass. Normally it will cook that slag off of there. That just really is fantastic for what I'm dealing with around all this equipment. Good penetration. Nothing in there is excess or shy. See that shallow part? That's where I came off of my tack tie-ins. Usually are always either real heavy or shallow. You can see right there, it looks good. Real continuous continuity in that. Just what you're looking for in your weld. That's not too heavy, the camera's just doing that thing to us again. Good on the bottom. See, and I was really pushing it on the bottom, and uh, it's just almost flush. That's what I say, when you come off the bottom, you're really it's a different app, different mindset than you are, you know, on the top. That's the top. That's where you don't want to put too much. I, I even pull back a little bit right in there when I was trying to close it up and come up. You can see it on the film, I think, uh, where it was more keyhole and uh, more gap in there than solid metal. That looks good. All right.